In Benin and West Africa in general, many women make a living from selling street food. Last year, I had the opportunity to spend some time with one of them. I call her Asia. She sells a type of corn porridge known as bita in a neighborhood of Kandi. There are many ways to make bita, and in today's episode, Asia will show us how she makes hers. We are in the city of Kandi, located in northern Benin. It's 4.50 a.m. and I am on my way to Asia. She wakes up super early every day to begin her process of making bita. Bita takes quite a while to make and she must be ready to sell it to her customers for breakfast. Even though I was at her house by 5 a.m., I missed the first part of the process which consisted of cleaning the corn grains, washing them, and taking them to the neighborhood's mill. Okay. She explained to me that two different corn textures are used to make pita. The first one uses coarsely milled corn grains, the other uses finely milled corn grains. Here, she is preparing the coarse grains by lightly pounding the grains in the mortar. She is helped by one of her daughters-in-law, and then later, another one of her daughters-in-law takes over for her. In Benin, it is usually common and actually expected of younger folks to help older ones in their tasks. In this case, it would have been disrespectful for Asia's daughter-in-law to walk past her without offering to help. After pounding lightly, she dilutes the resulting coarse grains in water and then sieves to remove the bran. She repeats the process until removing as much bran as possible. Okay. 
When she's done, she lets the grains drain away from the animals in the house. Next, she has to go start the fire she will use to cook the bita. She cooks it on the street corner right where she sells it so she can keep it warm throughout the morning. When the fire is ready, she brings a big pot almost full of water to a simmer. The first thing she adds is a corn she finished removing the bran from. And while that's cooking, she prepares the second mixture that will help her finish the bita. This next part consists of diluting the finely milled wet corn into water and sieving to remove the bran. She repeats this process until she has enough corn mixture. Then she pours the mixture into the pot and allows it to cook for a good 10 to 15 minutes while stirring every so often. Here we go, the pita is now ready. It is consumed with sugar and or milk, depending on the customer's preference. Bita is also great and recommended for nursing women as it helps with milk production. I helped her sell for a while and she taught me a thing or two about how to serve bita really well. I loved experiencing this so much, so much that I spent some time with another woman just like Asia who sells another porridge-like street food, which I cannot wait to share with you. Before I do though, in the next episode, I want to talk to you about the cereal grain she uses to make it. So far, in the previous episodes, we talked about sorghum and corn. So, can you guess what cereal grain I am referring to? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future uploads. If you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your favorite part in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.